In this short video, I'm going to talk about a product called X21 Flat Base, made by Tamiya. There are several reasons for choosing to talk about it. Firstly, I don't think many people are sure what they should use it for. Some people think it could be used as a varnish or even as an acrylic paint. And in fact, it's not suitable for either of those things, but there is something it is very useful for, as we'll see later on. Secondly, there's not much information published by Tamiya about how you should use this product. In fact, all the information I've ever been able to find is on the label on the jar. And as you can see, just turn this around a bit, it's not very promising to begin with. It's a flammable material, contains alcohols, and should store it away from sources of heat and light, and it's not recommended for use by young children. However, there is one promising bright spot, and it's the reason why I use this product. You can see here, words water soluble. Now let's open the jar and take a look at what X21 actually looks like. As you can see it's actually grey in colour and um, you shouldn't worry about that because once it gets mixed in with water and paint that doesn't change the colour of the finish of the paint at all. The other thing that I notice and you won't be able to see from watching the video but I can tell you is that uh, X21, in common with other Tamiya paints, has a distinctive aroma. I wouldn't say that the smell is unpleasant, and it's certainly nowhere near as bad as, for example, uh, spray-on primers that many people use for their figures. Now, the instructions on the jar recommend that X21 should be stirred slowly before use. Um, I can understand the reason for stirring, and uh, I think the reason they recommend slow stirring is simply because the jar is quite small and if you were to stir too vigorously, I think you'd be splashing bits of X21 all over your desktop. Now what you're looking for is a finish a bit like the one you're seeing now where there's an even gray color right through the jar. And in fact, in common with many other painting products, if you look at the lid here, just bring it closer, you can see that um, quite a bit of gloopy material collects in the lid. So if you're only doing a small job and you don't want to go to the trouble of stirring the jar too vigorously, uh, you can actually just use the material that's collected in the lid and that'll work perfectly well for you. So now let's look at how you can use X21 to help with your painting. Now, I don't know about you, but in every range of paints that I use, I find that there are one or two colours that don't dry with a perfectly matte finish. So, for example, here's uh, a colour from the Andrea range, medium brown, which gives me trouble sometimes and dries slightly shiny. And another common problem paint for me, this time from the Vallejo range, is ochre brown. And both of these paints uh, seem, seem to be inconsistent. I have trouble with them sometimes. So how do we use X21? Well, firstly, start by putting a little bit of water into my palette for diluting the paints. Now, this water is actually uh, filtered water mixed with Winsor Newton Flow Improver. And now I'm just going to take a small amount on the end of a brush. You can just see it there. That gets into focus. Perhaps not. A very tiny amount of there we are, the flow improver. And I'm just going to mix it into that water. Now, it's very difficult for me to give you an exact quantity to mix together. What I would suggest is you try starting with small amounts uh, and then build it up. Um, and you can get a variety of different matte effects by doing this. You'll know if you're putting too much X21 in your water because the paint will start to dry with a slightly pale, uh, chalky finish. Uh, that's easily resolved though by painting over again with fresh paint. Now you notice I'm just using a very old brush for this. Right, now it's uh, a simple job of painting. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of this water and flow improver and X21 mixed together into some of the paint that I've prepared earlier for the job. And, uh, and this is just a piece of primed card that uh, I laid out ready earlier and all you do is just paint it on like you would normally when you're painting. Um, 
nothing more mysterious or complicated than that and we'll come back later on and we'll look at how this paint is actually dried and hopefully we'll see a really good matte effect okay we can see now that the paint is dried and hopefully you can see if I turn this around to catch the light that it's a nice flat matte finish in fact a good comparison is with the spray primer that I used on this piece of card which has dried dead flat matte and you can see there's, there's no sheen or or discernible difference so that's it x21 flat base from Tamiya a really useful additive for the acrylic painter if you're looking for a dead matte finish